beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Ayata. This is a vlog about absolutely nothing but everything at the same damn time. It is day four, three of vlogging. Um, just trying to be consistent. So today was my first day of finishing my actual entire exercise for the new year. Uh, yesterday I didn't do anything because I had an interview and then I was just like, no, I wanna do nothing. And the second I exercised, pathetic. The first I exercised, pathetic. So for me to get this done today was, or is fantastic. Like I'm so happy, <laughs> so freaking proud of myself for getting this done. Um, I think the difference is I wasn't uh, super ambitious. Like the first two days of exercise, I had like eight different exercises written down excuse me, uh, 12 to 15 reps, three sets of each of those ex exercises. And I just really was like, nah. Um, still been eating like shit though. But today was different. I told myself last night, I was like, you, you something's gotta give y'all. Like you can't, you can't get any bigger than this. Like you literally cannot, you cannot get any bigger than this. So today I woke up with a new mindset. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I'm thankful that I have it today. So with that being said, here's my exercise. I did seated military press, kettlebell swings, sumo squats. And with the sumo squats, I went ahead and I did the press ups as well. Uh, so sumo squats plus press ups and tricep pulls. I did 12 to 15 reps with three sets of each. It's not a lot, but it's something. And I'm happy and I'm proud of myself for doing this. So um, I've still got loads of things on my to-do list for today. So let's see how it goes. Oh, side note. One of my friends from school texted me and told me that people are starting to get their ATT numbers. So I'm really, really hoping that I get mine by the end of this week. Job update. I did get a another email from uh, one of the site places that I applied to. And she was like, give me a call back if you're still interested in the RN position. My phone is broke. So I don't know how I'm gonna give her a call back. I gotta figure this out somehow. Maybe I'll download text now or something on my iPad and then just find out a way to call from there because my, my phone is like broken. When I text people from my iPad, it comes up as my email address. So I don't know what the heck going on. But girl, that makes three places so far. Um, the one interview that I did yesterday that I'm super excited about and I really hope I get. Um, Second is the lady that I've been texting. Well, the person, because I don't know if that's a man or a woman. It, the person's name is Sam. I don't know if it's a man or a woman. Um, the person that I've been texting back and forth, I got a message this morning, said, um, oh, we'll be happy to go forward. But she said the hourly, <laughs> she said the base pay is $6. So I'm like, she didn't say hourly. She didn't say salary. So I don't know if it's supposed to be 60 k or 56k or 65 i don't know or or 36 dollars an hour i have no idea uh, so i texted her back and was like hey can you clarify what the base pay is as well as shift diffs um so i'm waiting back to hear from them and i kind of figured out that they do once a day like they text once a day so i should ex i expect something back tomorrow from them so yeah girl that's it so far uh let me get up and be productive it's like three o'clock i think it's almost three o'clock. So I'm gonna get up and be productive. I gotta go take down this Christmas tree. I need to, um, I wanted to mop the floor still, like steam mop the floor. Um, I got laundry going upstairs, so I need to go put that in the dryer and then put my last load in, which is just my bedding. And yeah, let's go. <laughs>
Yes, I have an in-person interview. I really didn't have anything to wear, so this is what I'm going with. Are you supposed to wear cream-colored pants to an interview? I don't know. Here I am, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to get my phone to work so that I can put the damn information in the GPS, but literally my phone is just, at this point, throw the whole phone away. Throw the whole phone away at this point. Like what the hell? Um, it's not, then it just does that. That's what I get for billing about the damn house like I had. <laughs> All the time in the world, that's what you get. <laughs> I mean, I know, like, over where I should start driving, but I don't want to go the wrong way and then put myself even further out of the way. I know that it says it takes me 30 minutes to get there, which means that I should still get there before time because right now it's 11.22. All right. Oh, Fiola. Okay, hey, y'all. So, I am on my way back to the house from my in-person interview and um it went great like it went great i genuinely enjoyed that place the environment is great um it just seems calm you know nothing like a schoolhouse <laughs> like a schoolhouse is um I, i'm saying schoolhouse boy i sound old like my mama uh but working in working in a school you get accustomed to all sorts of loud noises and just okay man go back to me you know you get accustomed to all sorts of loud noises and just unruly children and all sorts of stuff you know but it, it was nothing like that so when I tell you I feel like I'm completely capable of that job and I would really love that job like I would really love that job um I don't think it's full-time because I didn't apply for any full-time facilities. Um, but even if it is good, I work part-time somewhere else, you know, to keep my skills and, and everything and to just make extra money and whatnot. But I really enjoyed that job. And I know that she has other candidates that she's interviewing, but um, I don't know. I just felt like the interview was great. I don't need a good thing. I know how to get home, I think. Hey, I just felt like the interview went great. Um, she's very personable. She's very um, easy to talk to. Like, she would be my manager. And I honestly feel like if I had a problem, I'd be able to go to her, which is fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Because my other job, if you had a problem, don't go to that nurse manager. Okay? Find somebody else to go to. Find somebody else to do it. You could go to Miss Teresa, but you can't go to the other one. Don't go to the other one. Find somebody else to do it. And I'm not even joking. Uh, but yeah, I, I just really enjoyed that whole process. Like, that's what I'm looking for from nursing. That is what I'm looking for from nursing. Not the whole crazy concept of nursing that everyone has in mind of crazy shifts and horrible patients and, and, and um, crazy, um, what's it called, ratios. Like, y'all can get somebody else to do that for, sh for sure, for true. Uh, what I just left is exactly what I'm looking for from nursing. To be able to provide care, um, to be able to connect, and to be able to be sane by the time I walk out of work. You know? So, but I'm thankful y'all. Like, I really enjoyed it and I just, I hope, I really, really hope I get that job. And it'll give me enough time to get my, my nursing license and everything because um, she said it usually takes about two to three weeks and then you have, you have a few weeks of uh, on, onboarding as well. So I won't be fully practicing as a, a complete nurse by myself until like, at least February or something. Take so that gives me more than enough time to. Prospect Road. That gives me more than enough time to get my shit together as far as my uh, license is concerned because your girl still ain't got that ATT number. Still waiting on it. Um, my phone is fucked up. My iPad is fucked up. I'm starting to think it's just my. Um, I think it's my. My. Uh, what's it called? my ID like you know when you log in with your information that's what I'm starting to think it is so I feel like I feel like I just need to reset my entire thing like it reset my entire phone and all the rest of that stuff which is horrible I'm gonna be sad doing that but it is what it is 
All right, I gotta go. It's a little busy over here. Bye. Um, this is, I think I already showed y'all what I wore. The camera just, I feel like it looked better in real life. It do look better in real life, but the camera just showing how I want to show, but. I don't know, girl. But, um. So, um, I just came by to tell you guys how my day is going and what my day is, the remainder of my day is looking like. So, as far as this morning, um, I got up. I had to sift through my closet to find something to wear for my interview today because I had an interview. Um, the facility was great. Um, it was obviously a new facility. The uh, grounds were large and, and well-groomed and the students, or the, the students, the patients that I did run into during the interview seemed great. Um, it's for a mental health facility for ages 11 to 17. And yeah, I, I, I really liked it. I really liked it. Especially given my, my school background, like my background in the school. I'm used to dealing with kids that really do have mental health problems. They just are undiagnosed or untreated or just not in a facility at the moment. So I'm really used to dealing with children like that. Uh, I really, really, really hope that I get the job. She said that there were people who she still has to interview, but she should definitely let me know by the end of the week. Um, overall, I think the interview went well. Like, I feel like I did very well. I feel like um, she and I were able to talk without it being awkward or without it being any sort of like, I don't know, the, the communication was definitely open. So I enjoyed that as well. And I can really see myself being a part of that team and yeah, being able to grow there as long as my plans like allow me to. Mm. With that being said, I think it was like the max is 24 patients and well not patients, 24 people in the house. They have multiple techs at during the day is every four patients have one tech. Um, at night, every six patient has one tech, but as a nurse, um, you literally just pass your medications. My plan is to work night shift. So you literally just pass your medications at 9.30 and you're done. <laughs> you're done. You just make sure the, the kids got to be in bed by like 10.30 and you just make sure like the kids are safe. Obviously, if they're having a crisis, then you need to tend to the crisis. You're the nurse. But um, if not, then that's it. So I feel like I definitely would be able to muscle through my schoolwork and be able to get that BSN done in no time. No time flat. So I really hope I get that job. Like I really, really, really hope I get that job. I don't know how much they pay, but I don't remember applying for a job that pays less than 32 an hour. I don't, I don't think I did. I, I don't think I applied to any job that paid less than 32 an hour. So with that being said, the pay is not the best. The pay is not as high as I want it to be. However, I can supplement the pay by getting um, a, another part-time job. I ain't got shit else to do. So <laughs> I, I would get another part-time job um, at a different facility and just kind of work them as is. I got a text message today from um, another facility that's pretty close to where I live. And that pay, uh, she asked me like, what was my pay, the, the pay that I wanted? And I told her that I either wanted 77 base salary or uh, 30, at, at least 37 an hour. So, um, and she didn't, there was no rebuttal to that. She just said that she couldn't offer me PRN because I don't have at least a year of experience. So I had to do part-time. She asked me if I was open to part-time and I told her absolutely. <laughs> so, um, with that being said, I could supplement, I could work both of those jobs because in my brain, the interview that I just went to was so fucking chill that if you work your night shift there, girl, you literally you can, that's like being paid to get your work, your, your school work done. I can do that two days a week. I really can. Like I really can. And I can work the other job two, three days a week. Um, going in, I do want to work about five days a week and just work as much as I can to get as much money as I can there. So we'll see how that goes. Another thing is obviously as you see behind me, the TV is not working. Which, you know why the TV is not working? Because my fucking internet is down. 
I don't know why, I just reset it. It says that it's online, but it's still down. I knew something was up because the ring cameras was down this morning. So, this morning I woke up and I was trying to check my email and everything. Where is my phone? And my phone was like, my phone was just completely frozen. It, like I would press something and there was like a huge delay. Like if I pressed the Instagram app, or not even Instagram app, I could press the, the email app or the web, the Safari app. And there was a huge like four minute delay until it actually registered that I pressed it. And it was just frozen. Like the screen just kept freezing. I'm like, what in the world is going on? So I kept shutting it off to try to get it to come back on and be like fine. And it would be fine for like the first three or four times that I swipe. And then after that, completely frozen again. I'm like, what the heck is going on? So I opted to reset my entire phone. Whoa. This phone has been resetting for the last 45 to 50 minutes now. And it's been in the same exact place. At first it was like the first 10 minutes it got here. And then it's been, it's got like a little nudge. I mean, it's not gonna focus. And it's been that way for the last 30 minutes. So I'm literally resetting my entire phone factory reset because I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. And quite frankly, I don't have money. I don't have any money to be trying to get a new phone. Like, no, no. My phone plan is actually a prepaid AT&T phone plan. I pay my phone bill once a year, um, every, August, I paid two, $320 and that's, that includes the taxes and everything. So I pay my phone bill once a year and I have to bring my own phone because I'm trying to avoid getting on those, um, what's those things called? I, I don't want to get a, a plan, like an actual plan that's like $70 a month or even $50 a month because I don't use my phone that much. I use my phone for internet and apps. I don't use my phone to talk and call and text as much. My phone is what the, what the people say dry. My phone is dry as shit and it's been that way for years. So I'm like, why in the hell am I, why am I going to pay $70 for a phone bill? For what? <laughs> no. So I have a prepaid plan. Um, with the plan I get six, six or eight um, high speed gigabytes or high speed data. And then after that, it goes down to 4G. But, oh, I, unlimited text, unlimited talk. But I don't need all of that high speed because everywhere I go, when I was in school, school has Wi Fi. At, how, at home, at, at home, the house has Wi Fi. When I had a job or whenever I go to work, Work has Wi-Fi. Like most of the places that you go have Wi-Fi and I never, rarely do I use up all of the eight gigs and whatever you don't use rolls over. So, what the heck? Like, what? I don't see why I wouldn't have this phone. But it just was frozen. So I just had to reset all of it. And I'm really hoping that this works because I don't have no money for no other phone, especially not right now. Um, I already broke my watch. My watch doesn't come on at all. It registered, it registers my steps. Like it's on. When I start the GPS, I feel my phone vibrate. Like, I mean, my watch, it's on. I charge it every night. Um, it registers my steps. It registers my calories. The only thing that it does not, that I can't do is, act, honestly, I can't start a, um, a workout on it. So when I was exercising, it doesn't register the exercise. So, but that's okay. I mean, it's, it's I don't have a choice for it to be okay. Let me see what else I need to do today. So now that the interview is over, um, I need to clean my room because I wrecked my room this morning. I'm trying to find something to wear for the interview. Cause your girl done got bigger than the house and don't fit shit. So I had to find something to wear for the interview. So I ended up fucking up the room. So I need to clean the room. Um, I need to meal prep. Cause I need to meal prep and I'm trying to be consistent. And what else did I, oh, I wanted to apply to some more jobs. And I also want to be able to like check my emails and I'm still waiting on my ATT. So, you know, I need to check all this stuff. Anyway, I don't know, man. Today, <laughs> I don't know, I guess I was drained. Like I'm drained now after that interview. Not because it was draining, but because of all the anxiety and, and the build up to it. It wasn't draining. Why am I sitting so poorly? Sit up. 
So uh, thank you so much for tuning in to my video. My name is Ayata J. That's I-Y-A-T-A-J-A-Y. Thanks. Bye.